Yeah. Yeah, you got you something from a little bit? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fell right to sleep. You fell right to sleep. <laughs> they trying to say I stole a little bit of goddamn dope last night. So who initially took the dope? A little bit. So she took the dope from her god daddy. That what you say? Yes, and blamed it on me. So did he take the did he take the dope? Yes. How do you know? Cause we was there. Okay. So now he's claiming that you took the dope. Look at me. Look, look, look right here, right here. So did you steal it? What's up, YouTube? Man, it looks like things are heating up for summer 23. So stay tapped in. Now back to the content. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with the update. So, Chris, what's going on, man? So, listen, I just pulled up everybody for context. I was just riding around, about to take my daughters to their uh, high school football game. And so, you know, I was headed back. Um, but this guy ran up on me. He said, hey, man, you know, you know your people or whatever, man. Something happened to him, and he can't get his clothes no more. And somebody was about to slap him or something like that. So, what, what what's going on? What is he talking about? So, last night when we were all right there, where that pole is, where that little cover thing is, circle. right there. Uh-huh. At the circle. They tried to say I stole a little bit of God Daddy dope last night. A little and bit of God Daddy dope? Yes, and that was a little bit that. Did little bit claim he stole her stuff, but she. She the one that. That's her son. She the one that. Hanging around. Did. He ain't never set up move. Wait, say what? Say what happened now? It's nothing but a setup move. So, she so tell everybody happened? this her son and, right. and whoop the whoop. But it's then he, she telling everybody, you know, they, they on this gang gang shit. Right. They and telling so, everybody, uh, he done stole this, stole that. Now people running around here threatening him, talking about killing him and hurting him, you know. So wait, so, so wait. You was just about to say... Cause he say that she be saying, you know, that's my son, this and that. You was gonna say she do that because what? What was you about to say? Tell the truth. That it was mom fault for stealing it. But she's the one that actually wanted me to do it right. just so I could get set up. So you did steal it? No, I didn't. Well, <laughs> that's what you just said though. Don't have me standing up for you and she, she made you do it now. She took the bag of dope from me and put some in my hand and told him that I took it, but I did it. So who initially took the dope? Lil B. So she took the dope from her god daddy, that what you say? Yes, and blamed it on me. And now I gotta owe her damn $20 or something I ain't even outstanding today. You say what? I told him oh, okay. Now, gotta speak positive words here. Absolutely. <laughs> now she's saying I owe her $20. But it's really a little bit fault, not mine. Now I got an old trigger twenty dollars just for something I ain't. Who steal. is trigger? A little bit guy that. <laughs> okay, okay. So, <laughs> so they're trying. They're threatening to beat you up and do all that stuff. Yes, there's a lady that be walking around all yeah, that yeah, night, yeah, kept you know, fucking with me. You know, old drunk lady. She kept fucking with me, walking up threatening. He was shaking. I told him stop shaking. Ain't nobody gonna put their hands on. And she gonna try to hit you, me you, with. You get beat up when you beat him up. She That's tried to I hit, said. swing it at me with my own damn stick. Who the old lady? Yes. All I was gonna do, kick it dead in her kneecap. So why did little bit? Why did little bit? Um, you know, set you up. He don't, you don't know. That's what she do. That's all she do is set look. She ain't gonna tell you when they finna do it. They just gonna sit back and watch the whole thing until everything happens. That's when they all gonna just walk off. Like they did last night. They just walked off. Who walked off? A little bit. And why'd they walk off? You left him here by himself while they went in your house. Yeah. That was basically the whole setup right there for her to leave me up here. So I can get set up. What up, man? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why she did. That's why she did. And now they saying, oh, if you come down now or come back to the park, we're going to have anybody to shoot your ass dead on the spot. Okay, you do that. And this is over $20 worth of weed? Dope. Oh, okay. I get it. So, so listen, look at me. Look at me. Look, look, look right here, right here. So, 
Did you steal it? No. I did not steal it. Okay. I wasn't even doing nothing, just smoking my cigarette until a little bit left. That's when Trigger gave me her stuff. That's when Libby came back the other way and took it and hauled ass off. And Trigger came at me saying, Grandson, did you take my dope? No, Libby did. But she's still on Libby's side saying, Oh, you did take it. Keep believing what you want to hear Libby say. One of these days, Karma gonna get your ass. Well, but well, but well, that's what's getting you though, Chris. Yeah, but it Dude, ain't no, hold on, hold on, though. hold on, hold on, Chris. Because if you recall, <laughs> you stole something out of my truck last year. You remember that? That was actually true. Well, okay, the point is, Chris, is that you have a history of being a thief. I'm in the street, so what's stealing got to do? That ain't no excuse. Man, that's even worse. People check your, your insurance. You, you, you're going to be 21 and be simple. I mean, what you gotta say to that? Because because you sitting here justifying stealing, but then when you get in trouble for it, now you got a problem with it. I ain't got nothing to do with that though. But do you know how karma works? That's how karma works. You don't it necessarily. Been on Libby, not me. So, Chris, I'm trying That's to teach why you something. Bit what he said, what he said, Listen to me. You didn't make amends when you stole somebody's truck. You see what I'm saying? So, so karma so, gonna come back to you get you no matter home. what. Start doing something positive. When, when, whatever, positive whatever you, whatever you put out there is what you get back, man. People you understand how that works? So I mean, so, so at this point, I guess you and little bit not cool no more. I'm not cool with neither one of them. Well, but so here's the, dread the thing, right? Keep saying I'm stressing a little bit. I, but Lil B told her God that the dread is the one that's really stressing her out. So why should I be kicked out from down there? You should kick him from out from down there and let me come back down there. Are you are you jealous? Are you jealous yeah. of get your stuff and, and go somewhere or you can go to Gateway? Marta said me and Lil B the only two people that's supposed to be down there. Not him. So let me ask you something, man. Are you jealous of Lil Bit and Dred's relationship? Lil Bit and Dred ain't even supposed to be near each other at all. Okay, so are you jealous of their relationship? No, nah, Dred keep thinking me and Lil Bit are fucking. Okay. That's the honest truth that came out of my mouth. Okay, but are y'all are y'all effing? Once before. <laughs> Once before. Are you serious? Yeah, when he went out of town. When? How long ago was this? About a month ago. <laughs> Before we got kicked out from over there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah? You got you something from a little bit? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I fell right to sleep. You fell right to sleep? <laughs> oh, Lord. Now, hold on now. Now, hold on now, Chris. Are you telling the truth? Yeah, you know I'm telling the honest truth. Because here's the thing, man. Every time I be like, "Little bit, you remember that little secret we got?" She be like, "Boy, shut the hell up." You say, "You say you remember that little what?" Secret. <laughs> little secret we got. Tell me to shut the hell up. <laughs> okay, hey, man. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, this is my uh, favorite person right now. Now, so, so, so you and so you and little bit, y'all not cool right now. But then you know. You be running around, you be calling these folks your mama, your daddy, this, that, and the third, and then you don't be cool with them the next second. Yeah, because I don't want nobody to look at me like I ain't got no family out here. But I do got family, but I really, I really got a family. I just don't, don't like you know going to them. No. You got to put pride to the side. I about to say, at some point, man, you're going to have to grow up. God despise the pride and give grace to the home. <laughs> My sister said, anyway, Chris, we do not want your ass to come back home, so fine by me. Must be stealing it. Nah, they trying to take, lock me in the damn house. I'm not going for it. You never understood when I sat down there and talked with you, bitch. I told you to pull your shit together. They trying to lock me in the house. I'm not going for it. Why you gonna let somebody do it when you got control? That's why she brought my nephew and them down here to try to chase me down. We'll to your sister? Yes. What's happening? So you come from here, man. Come from here, sir. I'll take you to TM Park, man. I'm looking at your eye when you talk. I can't you go to Tim Park Place. You need to get your mother. No, I can't. Y'all keep, keep trying to say y'all gonna take me to Tim Park Place. I'm gonna run away from Tim Park Place. You run away when you can help yourself. I can't go there. 
I'm banned from 10 Park Place. Hold on, stop right here a minute. Guess what they done to me today? You know where I sit at, I'm a hoe, right? I went in 10 Park Place minute, with a this, pistol this on my own oh, oh, hip, oh, man. Oh, you did what? Why? See, I treat you like the son. I'm gonna get on your ass regardless how you? What'd you just say, So What'd you I just went say? in 10 Park Place with a pistol on my hip. Cause the damn doctor kept calling me a nigga every time he talked. Next time I, see, I told know, him next you know time I see him, I'm shit. Yeah. Do you know what the definition of a nigga is? I don't care. It's ignorant. You're a Negro. Actually, we're from Nigeria. That's Nigeria. why they call us nigger. We're from I mean, Nigeria. So look, so look, so look. I, I want to just get back real quick. Okay, so. Like, okay, so, not so okay, so I mean, the, the long and short of it, Chris. Do you think you and Lil' Bit gonna get back cool? Once, watch my car leave out the picture. Who? Dread? So you are jealous of their relationship? Do you wish you was in his position? Yeah, I keep trying to tell Lil' Bit I probably do better than he doing. So the Dread admitted him out of his own mouth that he be out here fucking all these women and shit. So, it's up the stupid line. And so, Libby don't even trust having sex with this man. She don't even what? Have trust having sex with this man. But she does it anyway, right? No. Huh? They just play around. How do you know? You forgot I stay down on street. And plus, they move the couch on the opposite side, so. Why you Oh, you going to I had it good, man. So even though she lied on you, <laughs> you still... I still have feelings for her, but I don't have no feelings for Dre. Hey, it was three days later. I had so that's what's going on. So you like Lil' Big. <laughs> Does she know this? No. I be trying to talk to her about it, but Dre be butting in every damn time. <laughs> so you just didn't have the balls to tell her, basically? No, not in front of him. Hey, <laughs> that nigga might try to swing on me. Ain't, ain't gonna be something for the weekend. Oh. <laughs> but Chris, man, what if she just not attracted to you, man? You gotta get, gotta get your little, gotta get your little muscle, man. Get you some, <laughs> get you some stuff going on, man. Well, I told you, change your clothes. Go get in your age. Bro. Women, women are attracted. Well, like women, that. women are attracted to power, man. So if Dredd has some type of power out here or whatever it is, and you don't. Then you're not gonna be able to get a little bit. So you're gonna have to step it up, man. You're gonna have to step it up as a man. Dre said he's gonna get her a new car for her birthday. Hey, bro! <laughs> but I bet you I get her a car for her birthday. How, Chris? With what money? That my grandfather got. Chris, you do this thing with your eyes every time you lie. You know that, right? <laughs> All right, man. So, so are you gonna be safe out here? Yeah. Yes. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews. Out here with the update. So, a little bit. You know, I, you know, we done did a lot of interviews. Not all of them make it to YouTube. <laughs> but some tells me that this one is gonna make it. Okay. Sometimes it's gonna make it. So. Okay, so listen, so I just did a um I just did an interview um with Chris. Okay, so what's going on with y'all right now? <laughs> so basically for context, he told me that I guess somehow something got stolen from, you know, his god daddy and and you know, I guess you said that he stole it and everybody was trying to beat him up. Yeah, cuz he stole the girl drugs. So they trying to say he owed her $20. So did he take the did he take the dope? Yes. How do you know? Cause we was there. Okay. So now he's claiming that you took the dope. How you gonna claim I took it? And I ain't never had it cause she gave him the dope to hold for the for she could sell. Well, he said that you gave it to her. No, I didn't. Okay. So so he's basically lying and saying that that basically you took it, but he actually took it. Yes. Okay, and so and so people trying to beat him up and all like yes. that. Yes. What was? What he happened? owed her twenty dollars. So what happened? He sh she was holding. He was holding the girl drugs. She was serving somebody, and she told him to hold it. He walked off and went to the dungeon. Mm hmm And smoked the girl dope. Right. And so he came back. He was obviously high. And and he was geeked up. Okay. 
Wow. So he just he just told me some BS. Yeah, some bullshit. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you dread? Yeah. You know what? You actually can get in this interview. Come on over here, man, Master P. Get on in the video. <laughs> get on in the video. So you're the infamous Dre. Yeah. Okay, so you're her boyfriend. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> man, look, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. All right, you. nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, so, so okay. So, so I can you know, get out of it. No, no, no. You you stay right here. You stay right here. Okay, so, so what's the deal? So, okay, you tell me what happened. Like, what's the deal? Because Chris is like... Man, they trying to beat me up and I'm not safe well, and all this other basically, stuff. Basically, I've been trying to, we've been trying to help Chris to, to grow and maintain and learn, yeah. not trying to get things from other people and stuff. So it's like one year go out the other, he get mad. He can't when he won't keep, when he can't get the drugs. He have a have a temper when he okay. can't get the dope. Okay, so he's so he he's having he's he be getting, craving for some crack. Okay, so and his craving is he. He get real angry. If you don't right. give him no money or give him no dope, he gonna have a, a game attack. Yeah, he, 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 he start throwing things. Start breaking shit. Cussing you out. Call you bitches and hoes and all, all that. Well, I get it, but I mean, all y'all do the all y'all do some little stuff here and there. I so. pop pills. Yeah, uh -huh. now you know I be out here now. <laughs> you know I be out here. We know you don't be out. Don't you dare! I don't you me. dare hit, hit me. me Look, don't you dare hit me with the BS, okay? Because one thing about it. Huh? I got to smoke a roster blunt. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, hey, listen. I get it, right? All y'all kind of... Okay, but we also know that you do other stuff sometimes, too. and that's Every now and then. Hey, Every look, I get it. I get it. So, okay. So, speaking of that, right? So, one of the things they did say, and I wanted to get your reaction to this, okay? Because... He kind of, I guess, I asked him, you know, he was saying some stuff, and I started to think in my head, I was like, wait a minute, so Chris, are you jealous of Dread? Yeah. <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> and, so, and so I asked him, was he, and, and he wouldn't necessarily answer at first. And so I asked him, well, hold on. I asked him, have you and Lil Bit ever had sex? What do you think his answer was? No. That was not his answer. We ain't never had. <laughs> never. That's not his answer. That's not his answer. So he said that I guess when Dredd was gone about a month ago or something like that, that y'all did it one time. We ain't never did sex. We ain't never. Did y'all do something like that? No. No. <laughs> How would you know? Because I would never I, she was, never. She was. She used to call my, my daddy out of town and I used to talk to him. On the phone. On the phone. Okay, okay. So, I was in Houston. Because he lied, lied about everything. He lied about everything. Because, <laughs> I mean, I asked him, well, do you like Lil Bit? He said yes. What's but I don't like him. What's y'all's reaction to that? <laughs> he don't even take showers. He don't even go like to wipe his ass. Who want to deal with a man like that? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews. Out here with the update. So, guys, it's just going to be a quick update, man. Chris, first of all, what, what is that in your in your side, man? What is that? Why do you have these? Cause I do security for my grandma. <laughs> I'm her bodyguard now. You her bodyguard? Okay, man. So look, Chris, we talked the other day, man. You told me about how, you know, you basically was getting, they was trying to beat you up because uh, they thought that you had stole something or whatnot. Uh -huh. Well, I talked a little bit right after that. Mm. Okay? She said that you did steal it. If I did, I would have had it. Well, no. She said you went and smoked it. I had what Bama gave me. <laughs> nah, man. They say, that, they say that you took that. You went off to the spot real quick, to the cut. You smoked it, came back, and was super zooted. Actually, I went up to the circle where... The point I, is, yeah. you smoked it. You did steal it, and you smoked it, man. Why are you such a liar? Why? She can say it that it's wrong. Okay, okay. The other thing is, man, she... Okay, so, you know, I told her about what you said about how you thought that you could do better than Dredd at being her boyfriend or whatever. And they didn't think so, man. Dredd was actually out there with her. Um, he and, did walk, I just walked past him. <laughs> so. <laughs> I just walked past him. 
Well, right. And he's like older than you, bigger than you, stronger than you. So, I mean, what, what are, size got to do with it? What does size have to do with it? Mm -hmm. He can beat you up. And what age got to do with it? Because he's probably stronger than you. So, I mean, there's almost no way that you can take his girl from him. And Lil Bit said that you was definitely lying about having sex with her. No, push. I call bullshit. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. She seemed like she was pretty convincing. She can't say nothing now. She behind bars again. She locked up? Yes. When did that happen? For having on that white lady up uh, uh. Run that right there. All right, man. So, okay, Chris. So, so you're sticking to your story that you definitely did get something from Lil' Bit. Yeah. She know I need it. But the other stuff, you're admitting that you did steal the stuff. Well, why you be lying about that stuff, though, man? They already said since I stole it, I owe her God daddy 20 an hour. I get that from my job next week, so. Well, why don't you just stop stealing, man? You just wanted it that bad? No. Nah. They say you get pretty agitated when you don't have your um your stuff, man. I get agitated. Yeah. I get agitated when they take all my shit. Is that right? What's up, sweetie? Shay Shay. Flip out. Limp ball, limp ball. Nah, Alright, so look, Chris, so we cleared all that up, man. So look, man, stop look, look at me. Stop stealing, man. I can't even have you in my car. Yeah, you better cut that out, man. Look, look. The streets don't play by that stealing stuff, man. You know that. You gonna mess around and find out out here, Chris. You need to stop doing that, okay? Mm -hmm. All these eye movements and everything you got going on. <laughs> All right, man. I want you to be safe out here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, man. I'm going to talk to you later, my boy.